Okay, we're going back to our theme now and we're talking to some people who've impacted on our regional landscape. And in terms of impact, I think this charity has done more than most. If you've noticed one of its jazzily decorated minibuses and vans about the place, you'll know what I mean. Helena went out to interview Brian Burney from the charity Daft as a Brush. Brian Burney, a man with a vision, a pioneer of our times, who set up Daft as a Brush Cancer Patient Care to take cancer patients to and from hospital free of charge. Much admired and respected in the Northeast, he has now embarked on a mission to walk 7,000 miles in two years around the coast of Great Britain and Ireland. Looking back to the day you had the idea for Daft as a Brush Cancer Patient Care, did you ever think that you would have such a success? The quick answer is no. I've been in, working with charities for some 40 to 50 years and they've been absolutely super, but it's only in the last eight years that I've worked with volunteers on a, a day-to-day basis and I never realised how good volunteers are. I have a fantastic job and invited all over to say lovely things about this, that and the other, but it's only made possible by the fact that we've got a team of volunteers who are passionate and committed about providing a world-class service of transporting cancer patients to and from hospital. Last year we did some 40,000 patient journeys. I knew the charity would be successful, but I didn't realise how successful. And it's the volunteers that have taken that idea of vision into a reality. And how many are on the team today and how many ambulances do you have? We have a fleet of vehicles, 27. And uh, the last two that have just joined us are hybrid, so that's half electric, half petrol, etc. So, and that's going to be used for palliative care. But um, So 27 ambulances and uh, we have somewhere between... 330 and 360 volunteers who donate their time free of charge. Now you're going to embark on this 7,000 mile walk. Where did the idea come from? As a child you've looked up the people when they've done these wonderful things like climbed Mount Everest or went to the moon etc and I thought we're going to have to do something rather special to take the idea of what we do in the north of England providing free service for cancer patients nationwide and the best way is to walk the coastal path of Great Britain and Ireland telling people what we're doing certainly when we pulled, walked into um, Aberdeen Royal Infirm they asked me how I got here and I said you never knew this but I've walked from Newcastle which does make it a little bit special it also catches people's eyes so yes it's um, been a a huge journey and it's been actually relatively easy because all you do is you put one foot in front of the other and providing you've got the seat on the right hand side you're walking in the right (laughs) direction but on the 5th of March I left the Sage walked over the Millennium Bridge with all the mayors of the north of England here and also the Bishop of Newcastle and we, we walked the first stretch of the walk from the Sage down to Tynemouth and then into Colour Coast. That was the first day's walk. And then I've just continued up the East Coast to Edinburgh, Dundee, Aberdeen, Inverness, and then John O'Groats, and then along the top, and then down the West Coast to the Isle of Skye. And it was on the Isle of Skye when I walked the, the coastal path of Skye that um, on the last Friday in July, I married the lady that was oh, walking with me. Congratulations. So that was something rather special in poetry. Um, and after the wedding, we continued walking over the Sky Bridge and then down to Auburn and just south of Auburn, where I then stopped to come down to Newcastle. Not to have a rest, but to catch up with other things. Right. So how many miles have you done so 2, 000, far? 2,000. 2,000 miles. And it's funny... Because when you're walking, obviously most of the time on your own, it is a little bit lonely, or but you do talk to yourself, which wasn't a problem. It's only when you start answering yourself back that you definitely have a problem. But to, to have had that experience of seven months of walking to that, and then to come to the City Hall, 
to listen to the last night at the proms and mm. to have two and a half thousand people, including you, young lady. I was there last year. Yes, and yeah. uh, it's quite amazing that, yes, you're on your own for those seven months, mm. but there is an army, a team of volunteers who are just passionate about that as a brush and, 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 and to see that city hall full of people supporting the charity is, is quite something. Because the interesting thing about volunteering for Daps to Brush is it's amazing how much the volunteers care of what they're doing. You're an integral part of that journey to recovery from cancer. And yes, the medics provide in here in Freeman Avia fantastic world class service in hospitals with the radiotherapy, the chemotherapy, etc. But if the patients can't or won't get to the hospital on time, it does create a major problem. And that's where I think the Northern Centre for Cancer Care really appreciate what we've done. I think what, uh, what is very special is that your staff or your volunteers actually stay with the cancer patients during their trip to and from hospital. Yes. And it's having that companionship that is very important. Yes, and also the fact that each patient is allowed to bring a family or friend because it's quite a worrying experience of how they're going to get to hospital. But if they've got someone, family or friend, and they've also got a companion from that to the brush, it certainly makes that journey that little bit more pleasurable. All right. Can we just have a little break and um, have some music? Uh, what have you chosen for us to listen to? Uh, well, being a Geordie, it has to be something about the River Tyne. And yes, I'd like if you could possibly play Water of Tyne, please, because it's quite a moving love story. <laughs> 